The first presentation is made by Dr. Luis Passares from Seville, Spain, and it is about uh, the trial as a whole. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, and it's a pleasure for me to present you the data on behalf of the mission trial investigators. Sorafenib is a drug that is actually available. It has activity in renal cell carcinoma, in the hepatocellular carcinoma, and it's a relevant inhibitor or important uh, receptor kinases for the uh, uh, cancer cells, particularly inhibits BEGF, PDGF, and secret receptors. This drug has actually shown activity in non-small cell lung cancer on the second and third line setting on prior trials, small trials. Indeed, we have a need for more active drugs in lung cancer. Nowadays, there are many patients that actually have received one, two, or three prior chemotherapy regimes and need for the therapy because they are still in good health. And this is what the trial is all about. It's trying, was trying to see if this drug was improving survival for the patient that had received at least two or three prior chemotherapy treatments, chemotherapy or uh, EGFR-TKI treatments. So inclusion criteria included advanced non-small cell lung cancer, two or three prior treatments, and good health status, PS021. Patients were well stratified and randomized to receive sorafenib, which is the study drug, 400 milligrams, uh, 800 milligrams twice daily, and then uh, 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 placebo, the other half of the patient. And overall survival was the primary endpoint. Overall survival was the, the, the primary endpoint. There were some other endpoints, PFS, time to progression, response rate, and biomarker analysis. Here is progression free survival that tells you about if the drug, sorafenib, uh, is able to control disease progression. And indeed, was able to retard uh, disease progression, uh, and that was clearly significant. So the rate of progression was 40% lower on patients treated with serafinib as compared to those patients treated with uh, placebo. The same results were actually achieved in terms of time to progression, which is a very similar endpoint. Our response rate was also higher for sonafen if treated patients. When it comes to the main endpoint overall survival, as you see here, the drug did show no survival improvement at all as compared to placebo. And as you see in the curves, they were, the overall survival curve were super impossible. So this is the main endpoint and the main message of the trial. Overall, there were no significant overall survival benefit. We did some subset analysis and there were no patient subset that benefit uh, uh, from this therapy in terms of overall survival, and there was an extensive biomarker analysis done, and my colleague Dr. Mock uh, will uh, present you the uh, biomarker analysis data on the next slides. So my conclusion for the overall results are sorafenib monotherapy do not improve survival in this trial as compared to placebo on the third and fourth line treatment setting for advanced non normal cell lung cancer. Indeed, the drug has shown activity again in terms of time to progression, uh, uh, retarding progression, improving progression of survival, increasing response rate, but not in overall survival. Safety data were as expected. We know the toxicity profile of the drug. And I think we still need some more options, so we still uh, need to really develop drugs in this setting, and maybe it would be relevant to try to uh, recognize if there is a group of patients that actually are benefiting from this therapy. And some of the data that Dr. Mark will present may give us a hint on future work to be done. Thank you.